Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I just decided I would post a sort of work in progress video of all the armor projects that I've been working on because I haven't posted a video in a while and as you can see I've started quite a few projects. Uh, usually I don't like to post a video of a project I'm working on until I completely finish it but like I said I haven't posted one in a while and you know I want to make sure you guys don't think I just fell off the face of the earth or something like that and uh, so I'm still here and I'm still making stuff it just I'm kinda of being lazy and I'm not finishing stuff like I should so I don't know we'll get it done but uh, anyways uh, I talked about in my NCR veteran helmet video um, about the armor here and so I started that as you can see with the foam uh, I think it, it it turned out okay. Uh, the cardboard kind of wrinkled in here a little bit, uh, so I don't know how to you know deal with that. I'm gonna maybe just leave it. Um, and this is coated with the rubber coating. Can't remember the exact name. I'm having a brain fart. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'll work on that. Need to paint that and you know add some of the stuff to it. Um, here's a big big project I'm working on. It is cardboard T45D power armor from Fallout. Um, the helmet is pretty close to being done. I just gotta add some of the lights and you know greeblies over here on it. Um, but this is Pepakira. Uh, it was a Pepakira model I did. Um, but the chest piece is completely scratch built from cardboard by me and the same with the shoulders and the rest of the armor probably will be scratch built with cardboard just because I hate Pepakira. Uh mostly just because I don't feel like you know doing it I'm lazy but yeah this still has a bright sun this has Bondo on it as you can see and I need to sand that down on these um, paint them chest piece is almost done um, I think Except for the whole entire power pack back here, which I'm doing with PVC pipe and cardboard. Uh, see, I've got hinges up here so that when I have it on, I can just swing it open like that. And eventually it will have some kind of bolts or something down here on this piece and it'll slide in like that so I can attach it. That'll be good. But I think it turned out fairly well so far so that'd be awesome when I get that done and I think this is the last project I'm working on I'm not even sure now because I have so many started but this is one that I saw on Halo Reach it's the Halo Reach pilot helmet and as you can see obviously it's Pepakira and obviously it's not done but I want to finish this one because I really love that helmet and so yeah That'd be pretty cool when I get it done. I started one and it was too small. But luckily I didn't get too far in it when I realized it was too small. That's one of the reasons I hate Puppet Cure, because I can never get this thing its size right. But anyway, so I'll work on that and I'll get that done. And hopefully I'll get all these projects wrapped up and I won't start anything else. But knowing me, I probably will. Um, but I don't know. I've got a Jeep project that I'm restoring a, a Jeep, you know, so that's kind of important to me. And, um, just graduated high school, so I'm looking for a job, and, you know, time, you know, I don't, I don't want to just sit around and do nothing, so I don't know how many videos I'll have in the future, but hopefully I'll be able to continue making props and, and armor and things like that. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me or... Uh, positive comments to help motivate me. I appreciate it and talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.